Shalom, Yeshurela. First and foremost, I want to give all praises and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rechai Kodash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Peace and blessings to the Ophelakim that preach the word in all truth and sincerity. I long to Israelite foreigner brothers that like the heathens, but the line of Falsag goes back to the nation of Israel, which nation of Israel are you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans through the prophecies and curses of Deuteronomy 28 chapter and throughout the Bible. So this is about your call, a mock, a lesson, and um, today's lesson will be entitled, We Acknowledge Our Teachers. You know, I was going to go on some precepts and uh, low willing, you brothers and you sisters out there, be edified through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shimon Shai. You know, we acknowledge our teachers, man. You know, which our true teachers is our apostles and elders of Great Millstone. We're going to start on with Apostle Har, Apostle Bar, Apostle Baka, Apostle Ramla, you know, and the bishop and the elders of Connecticut, you know, which is uh, Elder Bishop Sakharan, uh, Elder Bishop Ainat, Elder Bishop uh, Ibad, Elder Bishop Manatazak. Um, Elder Bishop uh, Tazaiwan, um, Elder, Bil Elder Bishop uh, Elder Tazadakba, you know, and to you know to, to uh, you know to the other elders, you know Elder Yashawamba, Elder Manatazak, you know. So, you know those men, you know I have learned the truth from man, you know starting on with Apostle Tahar, you know, and I looked at that word acknowledge. It means accept or admit the existence or truth of, all right? You know, and we accept, you know, who our true teachers are in the faith, you know, because there's a lot of men that come in the truth, but they don't acknowledge their teachers, man. You know, in the scriptural that we say double honors before, you know, we start our lessons, you know, after we give praises, you know, to our, our God, Yahweh Bashamon Shai. You see, uh, this is uh, 1 Timothy 5 and 17. And it reads, let the elders that rule well count worth, worthy of double honor, especially they who labor, labor in the word and doctrine. And that's right, man. So it's scriptural to give double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone, man. You know, because they're, them, are, them are the men that labored in the word and doctrine for many years. You know, starting with Apostle Har over 30 years, man. You know, so the longevity and the truth speaks alone, you know. And they they are the ones that taught the true names of our God, the Heavenly Father Yahweh, and His only begotten Son, Yahweh Shai. They taught us the breakdown of the scriptures on to be um, to be diligent to look up words, to go into the Hebrew, the Greek, the Latin, you know, to uh to learn about secular history, you know, those men, starting with Apostle Har, has taught us how to conduct ourselves being in this truth, you see? And they're well and and they ought to be reverenced for that, man. And when you go to um Jeremiah three fifteen it reads, and I will give you pastors according to my heart, which shall feed you with knowledge and understanding. Right. You know, which those pastors, you know, is our apostle Elder Great Millison that has fed us the knowledge and understanding out the scriptures. You know, and we enter into their labors according to John 4 and 38. Because they, they, they learn other men too. Our apostles and elders, you know, such as High Priest Ab uh, Arya, you know, High Priest Jaiqua, you know, King Masha, you know, they our apostles, Elder Great Millstone, they learn from men too, and they always give them reverence. You know, you also you, you always hear the apostles talk about High Priest Arya, High Priest Jaiqua, King Masha, a lot, man. You know, because those were the true men I taught them. You know. It's, uh, this is uh, St. John 4 and 38. It reads, I sent you to reap that wherein you stole no labor. Other men labored, and you are entering into their labors. Yes, so we enter into our apostles and elders of great millstone labors. 
you know, because they're the ones that had to do all the, the dirty work, go to the, you know, when when the truth wasn't so accessible, at, like like how it is now, you know, because we could just go on our smartphones and just look things up. It wasn't like that back then in the 90s, man, in the 80s. You know, they had to go to the library, the apostles, the elders of Great Middle School, they had to go to the libraries and study and find these different books. You know, they had to go uh, look up words in the actual dictionary, you know. So they had it more harder. They had it way more harder than we got it easier today, you know. So, you know, their works, man, you know, proves that they endure all things for the elect's sake, man. For us to have the truth now, Lord willing, we are part of the elect. You know, as Apostle um, Paul said, let's see, uh, yep, it's the Second Timothy 2 and 10, and it reads, Therefore I endure all things for the elect's sake, that they may also obtain the salvation, which is in Yahweh Shabbat with eternal glory. Right, so... That applies to our apostles, man. They endure all those years, man. Being scoffed at, being mocked at. You know, after the year 2000, a lot of, you know, a lot of 1992 Israelites fell out. You know, even during the, during the time in 2007, you know, as apostles always tell us, you know, a lot of men fell out from that era, you know. But they endure all those hardships and tribulations you know, coming from scoffers and gainsayers and naysayers, you know, people telling the apostles that they're not the man of the Lord, they that they false prophets. They had to do they had to endure all of that, man. All to give us the truth that we have today. You know? So we should always have a form of respect and never to come up against our teachers, man. You know? Even if he was to get kicked out of the camp, GMS camp. That don't mean that's not a license for you to just, you know, scoff at the apostles just because, you know, something happened to you, man. Now, you still got to give them respect and reverence. And that's the thing about our uh, black culture that we grew up in, which are the ways of darkness. There is no respect or reverence for the, for, the, uh, for the elders, man, for the elderly, you know. So when we come in this truth... Our mindset is supposed to change, you know. Um, go to First Timothy. First Timothy four. Verse fourteen, and it reads, "Neglect not the gift that is in thee." Right, so we're not supposed to neglect this truth that we have, because we all have gifts in this truth, you know, spiritual gift, the spiritual gifts. That the Lord has given us. It says, which was given thee by prophecy with the laying on the hands of the presbytery. The presbytery, we look it up, are the elders, you know. Uh, Presbyterian, which means body of elders, you know, of the Jewish elders. So, yeah, so them are our apostle elders of Great Millstone today. You know, they were the ones that has given us this truth through prophecy, as we read earlier in Jeremiah 3 and 15, when the Lord said, I will send thee pastors according to my heart. That was a prophecy, man, that, 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 that's that been fulfilled today, in today's day, you know? Um, let's go to 2 Timothy. Second Timothy 3 and 14, and it reads, But continue thou in the things which thou hast learned, and it has been assured of, knowing of whom thou hast learned them. Yeah, so we're supposed to continue in the things which we have learned and who we learned them from, man, to, and to acknowledge who we learned them from. You know, we're supposed to, you know, even, you know, if he was to get kicked out by, you know, which I'm not part of GMS, but, you know, I'm an offshoot. Our camp, you know, Gabar on the Most High, you know, is an offshoot of a GMS camp. You know, we're not, you know, we don't have GMS name, but, you know, we're affiliated with GMS. We're an offshoot. And, you know, if I was if I was in the GMS camp and 
I was to get kicked out, you know. I won't come up, you know, scoff against the apostles of Great Millstone or the elders of GMS LA, no. You know, I'll just still, you know, Lord willing, of course, still teach the correct doctrine and, and, and just push the word, man, you know, and not pushing for, uh, for envy and strife, man. You know, because a lot of men, once they get kicked out, they start to bite the hand I fed them. You know, you can't do that, man. You know, because that's a nigga mindset. That's that's something a nigga would do, man. You know? So, you know, we have to continue the things which we learn and, who we, and, and to acknowledge who we learned them from. So, we always got to keep teaching the right doctrine on who we learned it from, which are Apostle Elsa Great Millstone. Um, let's go in the Apocrypher, Sirach 7 and 29. It reads, Fear the Lord, Yahweh Bashmon Shai, with all thy soul, and reverence his priests. Right, so, you know, we fear Yahweh Bashmon Shai, with all our soul, and we reverence his priests. The priest today will be, you know, the apostle of the great millstone. You know, we don't worship the apostles, because a lot of men say, Yeah, we, we man worship. No, we just give them. Uh, great respect, great reverence, man. And just look at that word reverence real quick. Reverence means due respect for someone or something, right? You know, high esteem, high regard. Yeah, you know. And we show that towards our apostles, Elsa Great Millstone. It's like if I keep saying, the, you know, saying it, but I just want to drill the point in. And I'm just acknowledging who my true teachers are, man, you know. Um, so, so I eight nine last precept. It says, "Miss not the discourse of the elders." Right, you know. And just look at that word discourse. Uh, discourse means written or spoken communication or debate, discussion, conversation. Yeah, so communication. So we don't miss. We're not supposed to miss the discussion or conversation from the apostles. Now it comes in the form of, you know. Not, you know, make sure we keep up, keeping up with their videos. We watch their videos daily. You know, starting with Apostle Hart, man. You know, uh, watching their live stream because the apostles have much uh, experience in the faith, man. So when they tell us certain jewels, we're supposed to take heed and apply it, you know, because they've been through it before we've been through it, man. So, you know, uh, experience, as Apostle Ramla always bring out, means to try out, you know, and experience is the best teacher, as Apostle Apostle as Apostle Ramlab always say, you know. Um, Apostle Ramlab, let me phrase that again. Um, Apostle Ramlab, you know, broke down what the word experience means. Experience means to try out, and Apostle Ramlab also said that experience is the best teacher, and that's true. You know, you can't, you know, you, you can't beat experience, you know. Someone that has been through something that has a knowledge of that particular, you know, aspect, you see. It says, miss not the discourse of the elders, for they also learn their fathers. Yes, like I was saying earlier, the apostles, the elders, they also learn from their fathers, you know. Uh, high priest uh, Yaikwab, high priest Ariyah. You know, which High Priest Ariyah was the son of High Priest Shaikwab and uh, King Masha, man. You know, Abba Bivens, you know, which was Elijah the prophet coming back in the reincarnation. It says, and of them thou shalt learn understanding and to give answer as need required. For. That's right. So, you know, the, the, the apostle elders, the Zaconium, you know, uh, Shalayak, because the apostle in the Hebrew is uh, Shalayakim, you know, and how you say uh, elders in Hebrew is uh, Zakonium, you know, so the Shalayakim was Zakonium, and so the apostles and elders, they have great experience, you know, and they teach us understanding and how to, you know, conduct our life in the faith, you know, first and foremost, pushing the Worshiping Yahweh by Shimon Shai and pushing his word out, man, first and foremost, our first priority, you know. So they are well worthy 
or double honors, man. You know, so yeah, I just want to make a quick lesson on that. We acknowledge our teachers and our low willing acolytes out of five. And until next time, Shalom.